Good morning. Welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Tuesday, the 11th of July. So looking at the euro dollar and well, yesterday was a really inside day. It's very small movement, uh, indecisive movement, I guess. Uh, from where from here then? Well, we've already hit the uh, weekly pivot there. We're sitting on the weekly pivot at the moment. Certainly not a clear move going on here. I do wonder um, whether we will roll uh, from here. It's, uh, as I say, very indecisive moment, uh, movement here. So not particularly clear. We, we're sort of knocking on the on the uh, support level here. Keep on tapping away at it. I mean, how many t attempts has it had now in terms of uh, how many hours has it been knocking away? Um, if, if it... I guess the more it knocks, the more likely it is to run back through. Now, um, there is a chance we can obviously push up from here and maybe as a, trade is a way for some good news from here. But uh, as I said, it, it's it's looking, well, any break of that those lows would probably see us run through somewhat. Um, we've got an untouched daily pivot above us at the moment with that 50 MA, which may provide a a bit of near-term resistance, but if it breaks through that well, uh, we could be on for yesterday's highs in the L1. Uh, we're almost down to the S1. You see how tight the pivots are pinched. Very, as I say, very difficult day in a sense. Um, whether this is just in a holding pattern and it's going to actually shove up in some respects, you think, well, uh, sort of bull flag, but it's overextended that flag somewhat at the moment. It well, it appears to, but if we can. Uh, Get a get a wiggle up there. Uh, maybe well, eventually we could be on for the weekly R1 there in the prior highs. Okay, um, cable, cable. Well, it's uh, again another doji here, sitting into the 50 moving average. Uh, very uh, weak looking uh, move overall. It's got a lower high in there as well, and um, well, it's put lower lows in uh, just to follow through. Um, still got an untouched weekly pivot above. There's a possibility that could uh, yet be uh, um, hit. Um, a push up towards that sort of way may uh, may be possible. It's just it's just approached its uh, hourly 50 and failed uh, in this current hour. We'll see how it uh, works its way through. Uh, there is um, again just as with yesterday, there's a trend line that's uh, uh, easy drawn across the lows here, and it uh, may be a break. It, of that after eight o'clock uh, may just uh, provide the uh, direction if it starts breaking through double bottom may may hold a break of it well we may be, see back into yesterday's lows in that one s1 area not a long way from here but it may may well happen um, alternatively um, any sort of uh, cheer and rallies after after eight o'clock well break of that 50 gives us a set up for yesterday's highs in the r1 so it's a, a very small rangy day yesterday nothing in the way of uh, news for most currencies actually there is uh, we've got two mpc speakers today um and as i said due to participate in a panel discussion at the essentials of numeracy uh, launch in london i can't see that being too um uh, well, the other one is due to speak in the Scottish Council for Development and Industry in Aberdeen. Maybe that may uh, uh, create a bit more broad when um, the MPC member Broadband speaks at uh, 12 o'clock. But uh, two speakers, 11 and 12 o'clock. Um, so I'd be surprised if the first one creates anything. Uh, if we're even the third, the second one there may not uh, have a have a lot of bearing on the markets. Okay, um, so that's the pound, dollar yen. Well, that's just uh, continuing its trend here. It's choked off a bit last week, pushed in through Friday, Monday, Tuesday so far, pushing up well. Um, still got some potential on that. It has got an untouched weekly pivot below, so uh, any reversals earlier part of this week may, may be targeted towards that. Any decent corrections, it's barely... Uh, had any significant correction um, in the last couple of weeks, so uh, any significant correction could see it just coming back towards that sort of area. Um, so the last couple of weeks, I'm sorry, I'm just uh, yeah, last couple of weeks, it's just literally you know, a bit of a correction, but nothing's really even that wouldn't be massively significant in the whole run of this trend. It could it could offer a buying opportunity. 
but for now, um, well, perhaps looking weak in the bars that it's placing here, already up almost into its uh, R2 area, but again, after a very lackluster day yesterday, it's, the range is tight. And we could see this just continue through today, this story of uh, relatively small ranges. To say there's not a lot of news to drive anything. We've got housing starts in Canada at 115. We've got um, job openings in three o'clock in the US, but there's very little to uh, an FOMC speaker at 530, um, but just nothing to really drive these markets significantly, um, unless the volumes start coming in. Right, so uh, Aussie dollar, and uh, well, it's running to its weekly pivot just above it there. It's, um, well, from this four alley point of view, running into a four alley 50 again. If you can break that, maybe may a, bit, be a bit more positive. It has been sitting more positive of late. We've seen some reasonable moves on it. Uh, looking at uh, a picture here, well, there's arguably some divergence sort of running through there at the moment. It had almost extremed on the uh, uh, early earlier shift there at uh, four o'clock in the morning, and it's a bit of divergence at the moment. But uh, if it can hold up and push up, uh, we could see some continuation. Maybe, maybe have seen all the move of that so far. Okay, Canadian dollar. I do just want to check out what's happening with oil here. Oil's still lowish at $44, um, right, right down to 42 yesterday. It's just uh, come back to the Canadian dollar. Um, obviously, from that chart you just saw, it does look weak. So Canadian dollar, um, again, yesterday, um, yesterday, uh, uh, doji inside day. Um, it's... Uh, stifled a little bit where it's where it is at the moment got off to a good run um, uh, yesterday but uh, somewhat stifled uh, gave most back I mean it, sorry we were looking at some data on it yesterday there is an expectation it could it could run run on some more yet uh, to 618 one, 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 two, seven. so it's, there's a chance it could push up there thing with the Canadian dollar of course we've got news coming out tomorrow which are the Bank of Canada uh, meets and it's uh, there's an expected quarter percent increase in interest rates well that's probably been built in I mean that's the expectation uh, it'd be interesting to see how the markets react after that but for today um, still looking uh, sort of bold <laughs> um, and if anything, it's, it's putting in a, almost like a head and shoulder type pattern. Um, so it could, could run back to last Friday's lows at this rate if it continues. Um, that's pretty much it for me. As I say, no, no significant data coming out. Um, so have a great day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.